Imagine waking up to sirens, not your alarm, but a tsunami warning. On July 21 to 20 to 25, people in Japan and Hawaii rushed inland as giant waves surged toward their shores, triggered by a violent earthquake off Russia's Kamchatka coast. Now pause. As a UPSC or KAS aspirant, ask yourself, what makes this real-life crisis a perfect case study for disaster management? Let's go to the ocean floor for a second. Tsunamis often begin where tectonic plates collide, usually in subduction zones. One plate slips under another, causing the earth to jolt. That sudden movement, it pushes up a massive column of seawater, sending waves racing across the ocean, sometimes faster than a jet plane. That's not a freak accident, that's geophysics, and it's part of your GS1 geography too. Just weeks ago, a 7.9 magnitude quake hit beneath the Pacific. Within minutes, tsunami waves reached Hokkaido, California and Hawaii. But here's the twist. No mass casualties. Why? Because early warning systems clicked into action. Evacuations were timely. Shelters were ready. For your mains exam, this is a model example of how preparedness saves lives. Think of disasters like a circle. We call it the disaster management cycle. Preparedness, mitigation, response, recovery. The cycle is in theory. It's what played out in July. Use it in GS3 answers to show structure and understanding. In India, our legal shield is the Disaster Management Act, 2005. It set up the NDMA and NDRF, our dedicated disaster warriors. We've got a national policy and we align with the Sendai framework to reduce disaster risks globally. KAS aspirants, highlight Kerala's coastal vulnerability and initiatives post Oki. From satellites and GIS to drones and AI, Tech is our early warning superhero, but let's not forget the human side. It's the fisherman who knew where to run, the school teacher who led children to higher ground, the ASHA worker who turned a school into a first aid center. Technology alerts, but it's people who act. The ocean roared, but this time we were ready. And that's your takeaway. Disaster management isn't about facts. It's about saving lives with systems, skills, and compassion. So next time you answer a GS3 question, bring in this story. Not just what happened, but how humanity responded. All the best, dear future change makers.